Ernest Hemingway, a man of the world, traveled far and wide, his stories unfurled. From the bull rings of Spain to the savannas of Africa, his tales of adventure, love, and war never lacked in aura. Born in Illinois, he set out to roam, a restless soul with a desire to roam. From the banks of the Mississippi to the cafes of Paris, his life and his travels, a story to cherish. His experiences in World War I forever changed his view. A wounded soldier who turned to writing something new. His words, a reflection of the human condition, expressed with a rawness that left no room for suspicion. In Africa, he hunted with the greats and wrote of the beauty of the continent's landscapes. The old man and the sea, a tale of determination and the price one pays for one's obsession. But it was in Cuba where he found his peace and wrote of the island's beauty never to cease. His life may have ended in tragedy, but his legacy in literature will forever be. Ernest Hemingway was a prolific writer, renowned for his literary works that continue to inspire readers even today. However, he was not just a man of words. He was also a traveler, an adventurer, and a lover of life. Hemingway's journeys and travels not only inspired his writing, but also shaped his worldview and personality. Let's take a closer look at some of the most notable journeys and adventures of this iconic writer. Spain was one of Hemingway's favorite destinations. He first visited Spain in 1923 and fell in love with its culture, history, and people. He was particularly drawn to the bullfighting tradition and wrote extensively about it in his works. Hemingway's time in Spain inspired his novels The Sun Also Rises and For Whom the Bell Tolls, both of which are set in the country. Hemingway was also captivated by the continent of Africa. He first visited Kenya in 1933 and spent several months hunting big game in the wilderness. Hemingway's experiences in Africa inspired his famous novel The Snows of Kilimanjaro, as well as several short stories set on the continent. Hemingway had a deep affinity for Cuba, where he spent much of his later life. He first visited the island in 1928 and was immediately drawn to its vibrant culture, colorful architecture, and beautiful landscape. Hemingway wrote several works while living in Cuba, including The Old Man and the Sea, which won him the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1954. Hemingway spent a significant amount of time traveling throughout Europe. He visited Paris, where he mingled with other writers and artists in the city's vibrant literary scene. He also spent time in Italy, where he wrote about the country's rich history and culture. Hemingway's travels and journeys not only influenced his writing, but also shaped his personality and worldview. He was a man who lived life to the fullest, always seeking out new experiences and adventures. Hemingway's love for travel and his desire to explore the world continue to inspire readers and travelers alike, reminding us of the importance of living life to the fullest and embracing the world around us. 